Are you ready to get your bronze on today? I can't wait to share with you how I got this look. It is super simple, super easy, and pretty darn fast. So let's get into the tutorial so you can see how I achieved this bronze babe makeover. Hi friends, thanks so much for stopping by. We are featuring Laura Geller. I have a ton of Laura Geller. I have loved Laura Geller for such a long time, but I got away from her for a while. But now that the summer's here, I am trying out her new full coverage foundation that um, is still the baked powder, and I'm excited to share that with you. Now, if you're new to my channel and you've never been here before, or if you just wanna skip over this part, I'm gonna put a timestamp right here where the actual tutorial or the little bronze babe makeover will start right here. Now, in my introduction, I always do like to share with with you what I am wearing. Today I'm wearing this really fun ribbed shirt and I am in love with it. I love this little, it's got a little like ruffle pedal sleeve right here, not pedal, ruffle sleeve right here with the elastic. It's ribbed, it's blue, and I think they had just a few other colors. It's very light and it's great for summer. It does run a little bit tight. I would say size up if you like your clothes a little bit looser, but if you like them to be a little bit more form-fitting, order what you wear. I did order an extra large. I usually wear a large and I wish that I had uh, ordered a large, just so you know that. And then also we always go go over what I'm wearing for my earrings. Love these new two-toned little earrings that I got right here, a little filigree drop with the little extra hoop on there. I'm so in love with these and they're really a really good quality without being heavy. I really like that about them. And then of course my necklaces. I did not get these as a set. They're a gold uh, little pendant right here with my initial on it and then a serpentine or um, I'm not, I don't think those are called serpentine. They're called something else. Anyway, just a plain gold necklace right here. These are gold plated. And then I did recently show you my new little pinky ring and I actually have gotten two new stackable rings that I'm really excited to have as well. Also, I need to let you know that right here on the screen will come up a number. That number right there will correspond to whatever product I'm showing up. So say it's number three and I'm showing you the Laura Geller foundation. That you don't have to remember that this is the foundation. You don't have to remember the color. You just remember number three, jot it down, go into the description box, open up the description box, look for number three. Next to it's gonna be the Laura Geller foundation with my color and the link so that that's really easy for you to shop. Okay, so now we get to get into the tutorial so that you can see how I got this bronzed look today. It's so simple, you're gonna love it. Okay, zooming you in quite a bit. I wanna tell you that I already used the Laura Geller Spackle Skin Perfecting Primer. This is the original in Ethereal Rose. It's really pretty. It's got kind of a soft, almost like um, a tiny bit of glow to it without any shimmer in it. It's very hydrating, it sinks in very quickly, and it doesn't have a lot of dimethicone, so if you're somebody that doesn't really like that slip, it really is one that just kind of sinks in and does a really great job. Of course, I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is my Rider Dye Primer. I'm using a very teeny tiny bit of it. I always prime my eyelids with this because it cancels out all of the discoloration on my eyelids. And also it just really does create the best canvas for any sort of shadow you're gonna put on. It'll make your shadows really pop. I'm also using a Benefit. This is a highbrow pencil. Mine is like down to nothing. But because I am not doing a full blown eyeshadow look today, it's gonna be really natural. I want that, that brow to really pop. I'm gonna put kind of a big, you know, swath I guess that's what you call it, of that up there on the eye just to give some brightness and some lift right there. And then I'm gonna go in with Laura Geller's Double Taked Bake, um, let's see, the Versatile Powder Foundation. And it's a little bit different because it doesn't have, mine is in medium by the way. It's gonna cover really well, which I love about it because it's a little more full coverage than her original. But it's also going to help me so much since it's been so hot 
and it just really i don't normally wear powder foundation but this is super easy you don't really have to you know worry about it by the way this is a bk beauty brush and i think it is their 105 this is just their big buffer brush and it works perfectly for this i i think i told you guys that, it, that this was in medium so i really have been enjoying this see look how dark my arms are compared to my face so we need to get that face going and what happens with that is you know even though i do put bronzer on my face because i'm always exfoliating my skin on my face it ends up exfoliating that tan off of there so it really does need a little bit of extra tlc as you're um doing your bronze babe look really buffing it into the parts where you have a little bit of problems like i have a bunch of um age spots right through here from sun damage and this just really helps on those areas and the other nice thing about this is it's not going to settle i haven't found it settling yet because it's fairly light even though i look like i'm buffing a lot on it feels so light because it's a powder and yet for me it doesn't really feel like it's drying so that is a huge thing now i did not pick up any of her concealers if any of you guys have tried her concealers i did try the one that is a little bit thicker and i really am not a huge fan of it so if any of you have tried that will you let me know and i will try it i'm going in with my kosis this is in 4.5 um and yes it looks like i'm putting a lot on but i didn't dip back down i have found that doing my concealer like this where i spread it across and now I'm just going to let it sit while I do other things. And while it sits, it just sits down really pretty. And I don't have to have that extra layer of color corrector. It's so weird. I just have kind of, kind of completely gotten away from the color corrector. This is the e.l.f. Wow Brow. And I think this one is in Ashy Browns. I'm not sure. I'm only going to use this today. I'm not going to use any other brow product. I love these little teeny spoolies. My favorite one is from Ulta, but I used that one up and now I'm going to try and use up a few others. Okay, now I'm going to go in with just this mini dampened beauty sponge. This is from a set that I got from EcoTools of those biodegradable sponges, which I think is so good. So I'm going to go in here and I am just going to pat all of this in now and pay attention it takes me a while to do this blending part not only do i want to bring it out here to lift my eye but i also want to just really kind of really give this some extra love because i think this is the area that we get so quick on because who wants to spend some time on their concealer right okay so now i'm gonna use this big kabuki brush that you can get off of amazon i will make sure that it's linked below and i'm using the laura geller this is her baked bronze and brighten this one is in fair i'm gonna try to stick over here where there's a lot more color because when i bought the fair i wasn't self tanning again so i could probably use to go up to medium but this isn't bad at all so I'm just going to go up into my hairline and start to bronze everything out. Carve out those cheekbones. Bring some of that bronzing down my forehead a little bit. Make sure you go right here on your jawline to define that a little bit. Pull that neck bronzing down to, you know, kind of disguise the little waddle that we get as we get older. <laughs> This fair color has a little bit of pink in it. So it's really nice to be able to use it if you're a cool toned person because it's not going to make you look extra orange. So I do love that about it. You know, I first got into Laura Geller my goodness, it was probably 20 to 25 years ago. And then, you know, as things come out and, you know, I'm always testing things, I kind of got away from them. But boy, I have just fallen completely head over heels in love with her again. So now I'm going to take the edge of that fan brush with the, the bronzer again. And I'm going to kind of pinch that just a little bit. And I'm going to go into the eye area right there. And I'm going to give that eye just a little bit of bronzing. Now I'm gonna go in with, this is a very light color from her. This is um, considered one of her Blush and Brightens. However, it's so light that I have to use it as, well, I don't have to. I love to use it as just a highlighter. And it's just one that is really pretty. And I think that it really makes a difference. I will put this onto my Cupid's bow a little bit. And I will just pull it across the, my eyelid just a tiny bit. 
as well. And then I'm going to go in with kind of a bright blush. This is the Sunlit Rose one. I like that because when I'm doing this bronzed look, I do get my makeup to look just a little bit brighter with that color because it is a little bit more on the pink side. It does have some gold in it, as you can see, but it's got a lot of pink in it. And I'm a pink person. I mean, pink looks better on me than the oranges and the corals. Now I'm gonna take that brush and I'm once again gonna run it across my eye just to give some contour and dimension with two different colors. I think that that's a pretty um, look as well. And then she has her original foundation, but in a glow. And this is the Baked Balance and Glow Foundation. And this one is in medium. And I'm going to actually use this to set my under eyes. This is so close to the ethereal powders that Hourglass has. Um, it doesn't have a lot of glow in it, but it sets down really pretty and it's not a ton of powder. And I think it's really a beautiful powder to set your makeup down with. I have got the weirdest line on my face right here. It must be a sleeping line. It's so cute. And then I wish I had some of her eyeliners. I need to order some and try them out, but I didn't. This is um, from Tarte. It's the double-ended um, eyeliner. It's got, a. It, this one isn't brown, by the way. It's got um, the brown on the one side, which I'm going to just use for the bottom liner. And since I wanted it to be an understated kind of nude look, I'm using what's the, uh, the L'Oreal, this is their lip liner and it's called Matte's It. And it's number 110. I did not choose a lipstick because I thought I would just do this. I'm just gonna take some of the blush that's in here and I'm just going to pat it across to make it look a little bit like a matte lipstick and tie the whole look together. Great trick for it when you're in a pinch and you don't have a color for your lips that matches maybe the look that you're planning on doing. And then I'm just gonna take Milani's Keep It Full in Champagne and I'm gonna pop this in the middle of my lips. I'm gonna take the other side of that Tarte liner and I'm gonna do my eyeliner and my mascara off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, I lied. I wanna show you this mascara. This is from Honest Beauty and I had never seen it before, but it's a dual-ended mascara. And the first side is a primer. I've been working with this for a few days now and I'm really liking it. So the second side is the regular, it is um, not a natural bristle brush, it is the silicone brush, but it's just a plain brush and it really does help to have that primer on there. I am really enjoying having this. This is one that I was shocked at because I've only tried a couple of things from the Honest Beauty line. I have tried their, their cream blush, which I like, and this, and I can't remember what the one other product was. It seems like it was an eyeliner and I didn't care for it, but this really gives some pretty lashes and it defines them. So there you go, there's the final look. I got everything on. I really do love this new Honest Mascara. I love that it has the primer built into the tube. I really do like how it separates and holds my curl all day and uh, it doesn't smudge or flake on me. So I've really been enjoying that. And I will make sure that I link all of the brushes that I used. I think I only used two brushes, maybe three. So have you guys tried Laura Geller yourselves and are you a Laura Geller fan? I wanna tell you that all the time on laurageller.com, she has sales. So sign up for her text messages and her emails and you will get in on some really good sales. Most of the time she has 30% off no matter what, which I think is fantastic. And right now I'm going to throw up another video that you can go look at right now. I think I'm gonna put up here some tips and tricks for you guys. You guys love to see those. Or it might even be a dupe video. Let's do a dupe video right here. I hope everybody is doing really well. Take care of yourselves. I love you so much and I'll catch you in my very next video. Goodbye, my friends.